Hello, my name is Omar al -Basri. I'm one of your head PIs for Digital Logic this semester, and today we just wanted to go through importing a component into Quartus, which you'll need to do for the third part of Lab 3, when you program a counter onto your DE10. So, you designed a seven-segment you signed a designed a seven-segment decoder in Lab 2 in Logisim. However, we can't import the component from Logisim into Quartus, so we are giving you one. It'll be located in the lab document. It's this file right here called ssgdecoder.vhd. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take this ssgdecoder.vhd file and you're going to place it into your Quartus project folder. You can see I just have a project here named tutorial and the file is inside of it. The second thing that you want to do is that you want to go to product, project, and then add slash remove files in project. You're going to click these three dots and then you're going to see this ssgdecoder.vhd file. You want to click that and then click open. Great. Now you click OK, and it'll be by default on hierarchy, but if you go here and switch it to files, you'll see it on the side right here. So open this file, and what's inside it doesn't really matter. Um, it's basically just a text description of a circuit. But what's important for you to do is that once you have this file open, you're going to go to File, then Create slash Update, and Create Symbol Files for Current File. Once you click that, it's going to go around for a bit, but then it's going to generate a um, it's going to generate a component that you're able to place inside of a Quartus PDF. So once you do that, you want to double click here, make sure that you close this folder right here, and then you'll want to open this project library. Then you'll see SSG decoder right here. The inputs and outputs look a little bit weird, but essentially they're just uh, they're what's called buses, which are just single wires that contain multiple bits. So let's say that we want to uh, take this C and we want the seven segment and we want the seven segment decoder to either display zero or F. We can do that by just putting four wires down here and then we're going to name them like this the first thing that we're going to do is we make sure c is the input to all of them in this case you'd want to um you'd want to put them put the inputs to this as the output of your uh of your counters or your flip-flops and then going from bottom to top your most significant bit can be named something, in this case I'm going to put disp input and then bracket and then a 3. And then you'll want to do this for all of your things going down to 0. So you need to have a 2, then a 1, and then finally you'll want to have a 0. Once you have that, you want to put that into the input of this seven segment decoder. So to do that, you're going to type disk input or whatever you title your thing, a square bracket, three, then two dots, then a zero, and then a closing bracket. Then when you want to make your output, you're going to do the same thing here. In this case, we're just going to call it disk out. Then you're going to type a zero, two dots, and then a six, then close the bracket. Then you want to make a new output for your seven segment display up here, matching the name. So we'll just call it disp out. And then again with zero, dot, dot, and then six. Then close it. You'll want to save your PDF and then run the analysis and synthesis to compile it. If you have multiple seven segment displays, it'll be useful to give these different names. And of course, it named two things inst. Let's just run that one more time. Um, if you have multiple seven segment displays, you'll want to be sure to give these all unique names. So for example, you can name one of them disp out one, you can name another disp out two, and so on. But you need to make sure that they all have this zero dot dot six in the name. Then when you're ready to program to the DE10, you're going to go to assignments and then pin planner, and you'll see right here that you have disp out zero through six. This disp out zero corresponds to the A seven segment display. This one corresponds to the B, C, D, E, F, and G seven segment displays accordingly. If I open 
the website, go to resources, and then down to DE10 light pins. You'll see right here, this segment number is going to correspond with the number in Quartus. So we'd want to place, so if we're trying to program hex zero, for this location, we would put pin C14. I don't know why it looks like that. For the next, we would do pin E15. Then we would do pin C15, and then so on. And in this case, you can ignore the decimal point. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to any members of your PI team and happy designing.